distance from zero on the number line cannot be negative. Therefore, some absolute value equations, such as the absolute value of x equals negative five, have no solution. It is important to check the possible solutions of an absolute value equation. One or more of the possible solutions may be extraneous. An extraneous solution is a solution derived from an original equation that is not a solution of that original equation. Problem three, checking for extraneous solutions. What are the solutions of the absolute value of 3x plus 2 equals 4x plus 5? Check for extraneous solutions. Well, we'll solve this as before. We'll rewrite two equations, one equal to the positive version of 4x plus 5, and one equal to the negative of that, which will be negative 4x minus 5. Don't forget to distribute the negative to both terms. We'll solve these independently, and we find the solutions x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 1. We've done all our work correctly, and it's yielded two possible solutions. But like the previous slide said, we need to make sure we check these solutions, because one or both of them may not actually be solutions of the original equation. So as we check, first negative 3, shown here on the left, simplifying, we end up with positive 7 equals negative 7. And that's not true. So the solution, even though we followed all the right procedures, the solution negative 3 is not actually a solution of the equation. So it's considered an extraneous solution. Then on the right hand side, if we check negative 1, it works out and simplifies positive 1 equals positive 1, and that is true. So we can state in our final answer, since x equals negative 3 does not satisfy the original equation, negative 3 is an extraneous solution. The only solution to the equation is x equals negative 1. Your turn. What is the solution of the absolute value of 5x minus 2 equals 7x plus 14? Check for extraneous solutions.